So in this case, um, I don't have any parentheses, right? So when you don't have any parentheses, or you look at both sides and say, all right, is there anything I need to do on the left side to simplify it? No. Anything I need to do on the right side to simplify it? No, there's no parentheses. So then the next step is to get the variable on the same side. Please do not add 4 or subtract 7. Get the variable to the next side. You want to get your variables to the same side so it looks something like this. Um, so you could either subtract a 2x or subtract an x to either get on the left side or the right side. And I always like, the reason why I always like to get it positive, because I want to avoid this case. If you guys kind of remember me talking about um, always making your variable positive, because if you make it negative, sometimes you can forget to flip the sign. So I understand that I'm going to have to subtract an x on both sides. That will make that go into 0. Amir, Amir, second time. And then I have x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 7. Now I can just add 4. x is greater than or equal to 11. Now I just create my number line. 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, 9, 8. I go to 11, make a nice big circle. Since that's greater than or equal to, that is a part of our solution. And then this one, I'm not going to use test points, but we can just say what numbers that are greater than um, 11. Obviously, that's going to be numbers that are going to the right. So we'll shade to the right. Anybody have any questions for today?